Hello from the 2024 Sea Otter Classic. This is Laguna Seco, California, and it is North America's largest trade show. So let's take a look around and see what e-bike technology we can find. Propane are one of the few brands to have the SRAM powertrain on their bike over there, the Econo 2 CF. But this is a brand new bike. This is their Sresh. So it's full power, but it's lightweight. It's built around the Shimano EP801 motor. It's got a 626 watt hour battery in there. Uh, you can run this full 29 or is a flip chip there on the rear to run the 27.5 rear. It's a 150 rear travel, 160 fork, and it weighs about 20.6 kilograms. This is their raw carbon look. It looks absolutely amazing in the California sun. And it's actually running internal headset cable routing, which I know is controversial, but they do it really nice at propane with these spaces underneath the stem. So it's a lot less faff than a lot of other people doing the same thing. Salsa have e-bikes. Let's start with their Moraine. This is their aluminium trail bike, 145 rear travel, 164, full 29er, built using the Fazua Ride 60 system, so lightweight, 60 newton meters. There is a 430 watt hour internal battery, range extender to come, it's not here yet, but obviously you can run a bottle cage or your range extender, plus some very neat Salsa features, so obviously you can fit a tool wrap in there. Now we're going up the travel to the Salsa Notch. This is an enduro e-bike. So it's a 160 rear, 170. But you can actually swap out this shock mount to fit a larger stroke shock in there. So if you want to go up to 180 and match that with the 190 fork, then feel free. It's a big hitting bike. Built around a full power Bosch CX motor with an internal 625 watt hour battery. Both of these bikes are actually specced with a brand new RockShox support. So you've got the silo on the trail bike and then you've got the domain up on this notch. It's getting busy, it's hectic. Over at the canyon stand, there is a bunny hop competition going on. They're also teasing something called an on fly, which is coming very soon. Bianchi is a brand, Italian brand, with a lot of heritage on the road, but they are showing their e-bike here as well. This is their Evertic FX Type Pro, built around the Bosch CX motor. Check out those elevated chainstays. It's a full 29er carbon frame with 160mm travel front and rear. So if you've got yourself a lovely e-bike, obviously you want to keep it nice and secure. We're at the Hiplock stand, a brand well known for their more mobile solutions. But this is their 1000 series ground anchor. You see how big it is? Big enough to go around your e-bike down tube as well. And it's completely angle grinder proof. Quick intermission, no they're not e-mountain bikes, but it's great to see an expanding range of e-cargo bikes out here at Sea Otter this year. There's way more coming onto the market. And as a family man, I love to see all the possible options, including these from Benno. All right, retro meets modern with this bike. You've got some very cool looking tires, but then you've got deity bars, set of hope cranks, some SRAM axis, a dropper post, and room for two kids and a cooler full of soft drinks. Specialized, of course, have been in the e-mountain bike game forever with things like the Levo and Canevo, but also check out these kind of active leisure bikes, these Turbo Terros, hooked up with your fishing rod and all your gear, get yourself into the outback. And also they're quite new to the cargo game as well. So they've got these Globe bikes, the Hall LT, a space for beers or kids and a barbecue up front. If you're really serious about adventure, then Turn have this bike called the Orox. It's a fat bike. It's uh, Bosch powered, actually got a belt drive on this for the roll off rear hub. And it can carry absolutely tons of stuff. There's gallons of water, cooler, tent, sleeping bag, grill on the front. Or of course, you could go back to a more conventional carrying the kids and the shopping. Over at Polygon, they're showing a brand new e-bike. This is a Siskiyou TLER. This is a Bosch SX motor, so a lightweight bike. 140 rear, rear travel, 150 fork. Full carbon fiber frame, actually a one-piece carbon fiber rear end. Check out the linkage, actually. That's really interesting. This one kind of swings forward and that pushes the rear shock. Bit of a cutout on that top tube as well. Uh, available in two different builds. It's got a 400 watt hour internal battery and it comes, when you buy it, uh, with a Ride More 250 watt hour add-on. We're at the Fazua stand and they're showing off a couple of the bikes that feature their lightweight system. So it's their Ride 60, 60 newton meter system, that motor weighs 1.96 kilograms and it's in bikes like this Santa Cruz Hecla SL trail bike, very nice looking. And also their recently launched Skitch gravel bike. And let's take a look at the components the battery and the motor that make up this system. You can see a lovely compact system that slides up into the down tube. Who's it calling dummy? 
Transition have a couple of very interesting bikes, starting with their Relay. This is actually in their PNW build. There's a couple of different builds for this bike. PNW, Pacific Northwest, so being a bit of a burlier flavor to it. Coil rear shock, it's a mixed wheel size. Uh, and you've also got a Fazua system on it, so it's that 60 newton meter system. You can drop the battery and ride this bike without it. If you want to ride maybe the bike park and want a slightly more maneuverable machine. Now over to the repeater, again another full carbon frame. This is available in two different motor options, so Shimano or the SRAM powertrain as you can see here. 160 mil travel front and rear. Uh, with the SRAM version you can run a mixed wheel size as well and look how neat it is. All you have with the SRAM is that lovely display on the top tube and then wireless gears, you've got the axis drivetrain of course, so just two brake hoses, super neat. This is a brand new bike from Mondraker, it's their June. I'm actually looking at the top spec model. So it comes with a, an Olin's coil shot rear. It's a big hitting bike actually, but it's got the Bosch SX motor. So 165 mil rear travel, 180 fork on this top spec. Uh, mixed wheel size, 275 rear, 29 up front. Obviously Bosch SX is a lightweight motor, 55 newton meters of torque with a 400 watt hour battery. Uh, plus you can get obviously stick on this power more 250 watt hour without that range extent it is sub 20 kilograms and it's got a 63 and a half three head angle so proper shuttle bike now the mondraker neat is not brand new although this edition is it's in those lovely golf colors absolutely blown away by the color of that fork so you may have seen these colors all over the place but this is actually an official collaboration between golf and mondraker this is a limited edition this one is number one of 50 so you can actually buy one of these if you want one uh, it's actually got a number 20 on the top tubes out of steve mcqueen's number and it's the colors of that famous porsche 917k Norco has shown off three brand new e-bikes here. So we've got the side VLT and the range VLT, as you can see, high pivot, very much influenced by their non-e-bike uh, versions. So look really good, I'm sure that's super active. So the side VLT is a 150 mil travel with a 160 fork. Bosch CX, so these two are both full power e-bikes with Bosch CX motors. Both have 750 watt hour batteries as well. Uh, the range goes up the travel, so this is 170, 180. Down here we also have a lightweight e-bike so built on the Bosch SX motor and this is the fluid VLT now we're talking 130 rear travel or 144 and a 400 watt hour battery Take a look at this Ibis Oso. Actually, they sell it as downhill both ways, which I like the sound of that. It's a mixed wheel size bike, 29 front, 27 rear, 155 rear travel, 170 fork. Really cool design, really unusual, actually, pretty unique. Look at that big swing arm driving this linkage, lower link there, top link there, and then an interrupted seat tube, so asymmetric design, rear shock goes right through there. Nice little touch as well. You have these lupine lights, as you see, they're kind of plugged in down to that Bosch CX motor and the rear one is actually part of that seat clamp. Trek have a really cool stand here at Sea Otter, loads of really nice memorabilia and it's easy to get distracted by this bike, super shiny, very polished. This is actually to celebrate Cam McCall's 20th year with Trek, but we're talking e-bikes. So here we have another pro bike, this is actually our dog, Ryan Howard, a Santa Cruz local freerider. This is his Trek Rail and it's got a lovely paint job. We've seen lots of lightweight e-bikes here, so we're now at the TQ stand with their HPR 50 motor and they're showing off some of the models it comes with, including this lovely looking Uno bike. This is their Icky model. You can see the display up on the top tube. So obviously 50 newton meters comes with the TQ motor and you have a 360 watt hour internal battery plus you can add that 160 range extender. Well, there you go. There's some e-mountain bike tech from Sea Otter. And actually I've not been here for a few years and it's really crazy how much more e-bike stuff and how many more people there are ride e-bikes around here so looking forward to next year already plus we've got more shows coming up i know steve is heading out to riva delgada and of course Eurobike. so more tech content coming in the next few months